Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? This is Moltritz. Welcome back to our Demon Hunters. This is part two. I'm happy to see you on this series. We're handing them three quests we did last time. Basically, every time we get a piece of gear, it's a nice new transmog for a transmogrification system. Basically, what that is, is when you go to transmog your, system, your new gear, there's a totally new system that uh, allows you to see every piece of gear you collected on your characters. And you can sort them out or you can search through that. They also added search for achievements, but that's pretty much a different video. Right there, I'm upgrading our new chess piece. We got a blue from the quest that we just did. It's a solid upgrade all the way around. Basically, Blizzard is getting you through this area. Here's a ritual. There are demon hunters on my world. Duke so Commander. I'm getting to watch these this people talk because I'm completing this ritual. I had the power. My Eridar are summoning in more demons to and uh, she's going to try to deal with us. And she's going to send Baelish, I believe. Enter the volcano. The but the demon the hunters don't fall like that. I don't think she realizes. We're like Jedi Knights. We use the force and we'll take that hoe down. Personally deal with their leader. So yep, Baelish is saying he'll personally deal with our leader. I believe we're gonna have to kill him coming up, because that's what it sounds like. And that's the Blood Queen, Tyranna. She definitely sounds... that does not sound good. I don't even like her name. Meeting with the Queen was the quest name. 37,000 experience, 14 gold. And we get two more quests. We gotta get a powerful soul to uh, open another gateway. So that's a pretty standard quest that's going to give us some life pieces. And before we're overrun is a uh, quest that's going to give us the reward of Consume Magic, which is our Interrupt. And uh, that's going to be killing Baelish. So we finally get to meet him. I'm happy about that. That was pretty short. I was uh, expecting it would be like the end of the starting area, the end end. Twisting Nether was just discovered. Then Seat of Command. These people up here, it doesn't matter if someone else is attacking them, because now the single player loot works, if you attack and just help, you're gonna get XP and also your own loot, and you're not gonna take away from anybody else. So it's a win-win, it's beneficial for everyone. I'm 57% through that bonus objective, but I'm pretty sure when we kill Baelish up here, we're gonna get some more points towards that. I'll AoE. Fell Rush kind of hits everybody. You can hit I Beam also. That's a better AOE ability because that just sits there and, and hits and hits. But you can't be moving when you do that. There's the new Spectral Sight, which allows us to see through objects or see through walls to see objects and see other players. I know that's going to be super handy when it comes to PvP. Jace Dark Weaver's talking, and we're going to take out Baelish now. And I see the, the Blood Queen's here, but it doesn't look like she's doing anything. She's just gonna pour it. Yeah, it looks like she poured it out of here. There's AoE abilities coming down off from the spires that hurt you, but there's plenty of people here. We're just all gonna take them down. I see the forces that we uh, brought in earlier helped us to Ash Tongue and the Coil Scar. And we just absorbed his soul and got consumed magic. So that's kind of ironic. We consumed his power and we got consumed magic from doing that. That's our interrupt ability, so if we're low on health and people start messing with us and casting a spell, which is really going to hurt, we'll try to tab over and interrupt that so I'm not dying. Heading to the ritual site, I believe I'm going to have to talk to this guy. Usually it's like you talk to him and convince him or just tell him you're going to sacrifice them, get the power, open the gate. The first or second gate gave us the fell saber, so maybe one of these gates will give us a, uh, a, a new gift. There's two ability or two uh, options here. I'm not sure if there's a wrong or a right one because I just I just clicked on what I thought sounded good, and uh, I seen everybody else was killing him, just I beaming him down. So I figured there wasn't a whole lot to it. So I just picked the random one, just picked what sounded good. I didn't think there was no method to the madness with this quest. Plus we're in the starting area; they don't make them too hard. When I'm doing a lot of those reading quests, I just kind of skim through. I've been trying to get better about uh, actually reading the whole quest, the top log too, so I know the lore behind it. Because it actually seems pretty interesting once you know all the tidbits and the little pieces and like why you had to go out and find the star in the woods and like all that BS. There's the typical forces that remind me of Burning Crusade. 
if I seen those, that's what I would think of, like Black Temple and the Illidari, Illidan. That's that's definitely. I believe they're on the Isle of Kildanis. Is that what it is? Where the uh, daily area was in Burning Crusade that they added towards the end of the expansion, where they let you do a uh, heroic. Was it TK? I don't know if it. No, that's Tempest Keep. Nope, it's one of those, uh, one of the, uh, instances, though, or the raids, excuse me, and, uh, one of the heroics drops a, uh, a, uh, pot strider that's white, and I was one of the first people to get it on my old server, I thought that was pretty cool back in Burning Crusade, like, no one else had it, and I would just ride around the island with that, that's kind of what those people reminded me of, I just went back into, like, a nostalgic trip, my bad about that. Man, these things are lighting me up on the pathway. They just kind of come down faster than you typically are used to when you see something on the ground and then you see it falling out of the sky. I'm trying to remember, like, cannonballs or something on a different quest. They took quite a while to actually hit the water. Inferno Peak is found. I'm going down here. I see a village. It looks like there's a bridge down there that, uh... is broken, so you're gonna have to use your mobility, like your double jump or your glide. To get across that I would assume it's pretty cool that's kind of like a console thing where they uh, give you a new ability and then they add shortly in the future where you have to use it Blizzard isn't always like that because you're getting more individual spells for the most part but the double jump and the glide is unique to all the demon hunters or not is is unique to the demon hunters and this is a demon hunter starting area only so it only made sense that they'd throw that in there I got my pants which are upgrade and here we're handing in the Baelish quest before we're overrun. Getting 46,000 experience and 29 gold. And I'm getting another quest. Orders for uh, your captains. I gotta talk to three different people. Which is basically the forces that we just summoned. The Coil Scar, the Ash Chun, and I believe it's the Shivara. Are the other people with the dual swords. I think they look pretty awesome. So I'm going to talk to her. You're basically just telling them what they need to be doing. Like they're going to go here to the soul engine. Or they're going to interrupt these guys on the path. Or they're going to help flank and back up. Those sort of things. The standard stuff. There's only one dialogue option. So you can't get this wrong. This part's super simple. I'm halfway through the level. What's really cool is like since you get to be a night elf you have the shadow meld so it adds a little bit of uh, you have stealth you know as your demon hunter but you can't move. It's good for uh, de-aggroing if you pull way too many people all of a sudden you get stunned and you're trapped on your mount and they're sitting there hitting you and hitting you. It happens to me it seems far too often but I have a tendency when I'm not recording to just run through a bunch of mobs and like if I don't get dismounted I'm just gonna keep going. I think a lot of people do that when they're questing. It looks like some guy just got his honor up right there with the guild or with somebody. I'm not sure who he's uh, who he's helping out. Give me sight beyond sight is the next quest. And I have to speak with Jay Stark Weaver. I heard him talking when I uh, went to kill Doom Commander Baelish. Right now, I realize that the bonus objective is no longer on my quest log. So I'm going to go out here and try to kill some of these demons. So I fell rush through them. Get the nice AoE. I'm going to drop one of these guys pretty quick. And then I realized, you know what? My progress bar didn't pop back up. And I just got XP. So it must be that I need to backtrack. And go back into the bonus objective area. To complete the assault on Mordom. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So you guys don't have to watch the full long run. In slow motion, like epically back there, we'll just do it one and a half speed. I'll attack these guys on the pathway. It's easy to realize though that my bar didn't pop back up, so there's no sense of really gathering up too many and attacking them. I like how, even though it's the same type of mob, they change the, the skins on them. Like you see how that one guy was more of a reddish than the other guy was purple, and they seem to be the same type of mob. That's pretty neat. Typically, they didn't do that. If the mob was one way, it looked all the same way. Now that we cross back over there, we're back into the assault zone. And all we have to do is kill some people. We're 87% through it, so it's not going to be too long. 
there's a Illidari Fell Stalker, which is the mount that you get if you pre-order Legion, which I did. Ours is red, has some awesome looking armor. You can ride it around. It's kind of a more lower profile mount. And while you quick, quickly realize, like, they have some really huge mounts, and then you have your smaller mounts. I just heard him talking again, but, you know, we just gotta, we just gotta finish this up over here. He was telling us that those fell, the, those, uh, furnaces are, like, producing the fell energy that we just took down. It was basically just the, a part of the assault. Take out the fell portal. Quickly adds percentage. We're... Over half a level, I'm curious to see how much it's going to give us. I see another one of those fell generators off in the distance, so that's pretty much going to be enough to wrap us up for this assault. 530 experience, not a whole heck of a lot, but if you start grouping up with a couple people and you round up some guys, it probably will add up quite quickly. Alrighty guys, this has been Moltres. Thank you for viewing. Make sure you check out my other Legion Info videos. And stick around for part 3. I'll link it here. There we go. We got about a quarter of level and 75 gold. Take it easy. Peace off guys. Hope to see you around in Legion.